Good morning from Good Hope Question Regenerative Farm. Um, one of the big aspects of me moving here to the farm has been educating myself on all the various enterprises we're doing and one that I really wanted to do and had to educate myself about a lot because I didn't really know anything about it is beekeeping. And this is the book I first got when I wanted to learn about beekeeping. It's called Keeping Bees with a Smile. And uh, it's all about natural beekeeping. And I learned a lot both about the standard American um, methods for apiculture and the alternative, which is more of a European style of beekeeping, but it's also much less labor intensive and much less invasive to the bees. And in general seems to be a more low maintenance way to tend bees. And that interested me a bit because when I was looking into the standard way, it did seem very labor intensive and I wasn't so sure I wanted all that on my plate on top of cattle and mushrooms and eventually chickens and whatever duties I have with the horses. So this method seemed to be the way for me. And I watched every video I could by one of the uh, translators of this book, Dr. Leo Shirashkin, a very nice Russian fellow that lives in the Ozarks of Missouri. And he has a completely natural apiary there where he does this method of beekeeping quite successfully. So look forward to telling you guys more about that. And today I'm going to unbox the hive that I just received in the mail. So check it out. You're looking at a 20 frame Layens hive there. It was built by the fine folks at horizontalhive.com, which is run by Dr. Leo Shirashkin, who also translated that book, Keeping Bees with a Smile from Russian and seems to be the foremost leading expert on natural beekeeping. This style of hive was invented in the 19th century by famous French beekeeper George de Layens, and it remains one of the most popular in many locations in Europe, with over one million hives in use in Spain alone. And that's from the literature they send with the hive. Um, one of the big differences between this and a standard hive is a Langstroth hive, as you expand it, you have to expand up where these are going to start on one side with the brood and as they continue to be successful we'll add frames and expand them horizontally which is why it's called a horizontal hive. This is what the frames look like. Of course there's no bees in here they haven't drawn out any comb and I am going to put some wax foundation which I got from Dr. Leo's website as well horizontalhive.com but I'm just really excited to get started on natural beekeeping and now have the right equipment to do it thanks to the fine folks at horizontalhive.com so thanks dr. Leo now I will have to paint this hive and do some other things before it's ready to put bees in one of those is to put these metal doors over the holes as you can see this hive has four and you will only have one of these open at a time and this top one is pretty much purely for ventilation when it gets hot. But as you can see, these doors have different gates on them. And you can, you know, use them for ventilation or to make sure the queen can't get out. Or you can just have them wide open as an entrance. So you have options with this hive to make things more optimal for your bees. But once again, keeping bees with a smile. This book is the reason I decided to go this route. And... I can't say yet whether that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but it seems to be the way to go from what I can tell. 